Oh, absolutely, Doug, and the cleanup is only now beginning, and what we're experiencing now is the calm after the storm. The rain has stopped, the wind has abated, the sun has come out. We're not aware of any serious injuries, but the damage, as you can see behind me, it is very significant. This tree came down and crushed and totaled this car. We spoke to the owner. She says when she received the tornado warning this morning, she heated it and she stayed inside. And there are a lot of trees down and power is out in this part of North Providence. And this is more of the damage just down the street from where we're standing. When the storm came through, it was packing winds strong enough to knock down this large tree at another apartment complex, also here on Douglas Avenue, where two cars were crushed by the trees. Here's the owner of one of the cars describing just how close she came to being inside that car when the tree came crashing down. Oh, I was injured. right at my door and I watched the whole thing happen. Yeah. Can you give me a sort of play by play of what you saw? Um, just it was very windy, so it was, it was like a hurricane type of wind and the trees were swaying back and forth and I just waited a second before I came outside because I only had my umbrella and then bam, it just they fell down. I'm like, guess I'm not going to work today. I just started to hear like the wind pick up. So I kind of got up and I started videotaping and heard like electrical wires, like things snapping. So I kind of zoomed in towards the corner and it's just like a little mini tornado went right up fits you. And this is the video that Mark Ballou recorded. He says he did receive the tornado warning, but he wanted to record this video. We, of course, don't endorse doing that, but he is okay. As we've been reporting, the strong winds knocked down trees and knocked out the power. Storm drains are clogged by branches, leaves, and debris. It is obviously going to be a long day of cleanup. And here at this apartment complex where the tree crushed the car, you could see that there's a tree service here. There are tree services at a lot of apartment complexes up and down Douglas Avenue. Uh, the utility here, Rhode Island Energy, is also here on scene because they have a lot of work to do as well. And I'm just going to step out of the way because obviously the wood chipper is backing up and you don't want to get anywhere near that thing. It's going to be a long day of cleanup, but again, no reports of any serious injuries as of now. Reporting live in North Providence, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that no one there got hurt.